Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Judge, you said before and again today that uh, Mark Judge was a close friend of yours in high school. Now, Dr. Ford, as you know, has said that he was in the room when she was attacked. She also says you were, too. Unfortunately, the FBI has never interviewed him. Um, we would not be able to have his attendance here. The chairman um, refuses to call him. If she's saying Mark Judge was in the room then, then he should be in the room here today. Uh, would you want him called as a witness? Senator, this allegation w came into the committee. Oh, no, no, I'm I mean, just asking the question. Would you want him to be here as a witness? He's, he's already provided sworn testimony to the committee. This allegation's been hidden well, by the committee, uh, now, by, by no, members of the committee. It hasn't been... It has not been investigated by the FBI. The committee has refused to allow it to be. It was dropped on me. It was sprung. It was not investigated by the FBI, and he has not been called where he might be under. Should have been handled in the due course, Senator, no, then, it, when I, he came I, in. I would, uh, I would disagree with that. I've been on this committee 44 years, both Republicans and Democrats. I've never seen somebody that critical and not allowed to be here to uh, called to be testified or an FBI background, but let me. He's, ask, he's provided sworn testimony, and the and, uh, he and, has, Senator, he has not Senator, been, let me let me finish. He uh, the 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 allegation came in weeks ago, and and nothing was done with it by the ranking member, uh, and then it sprung Judge, on me. Judge Kavanaugh, I've heard your your line, and you you stated it over and over again, and uh, I have that well in mind. But let me ask you this: He authored a book titled "Wasted: Tales of a." Gen X drunk. He references a Bart o Kavanaugh vomiting in someone's car during Beach Week and then passing out. Is that you that he's talking about? Senator, uh, Mark Judge uh, was... Uh, to your knowledge, is that you that he's talking about? I'll explain if you let me. Pro proceed, please. Mark Judge was a friend of ours in high school who developed a very serious drinking problem an addiction problem that lasted decades and was very difficult for him to, to escape from. And uh, he nearly died. And then he, developed, then he had leukemia as well on top of it. Now, as part of his therapy or part of his coming to grips with sobriety, he wrote a book that is a fictionalized book uh, and an account. I think he picked out names of friends of ours to throw them in as kind of close to what for characters in the book. So, so you know, you we can know sit what, here. We don't know whether that's you or not. We can sit here you know and you like make, make fun of some guy who has an addiction. I'm not making I don't think fun that of really anybody, makes uh, is really good. I'm trying to get a straight answer from you under oath. Are you Bart Kavanaugh that he's referring to? Yes or no? That's You'd easy. have to ask him. Well, I agree with you there. And that's why I wish that the uh, chairman had him here under oath. Now, you talked about your yearbook. Uh, in your yearbook, uh, you talked about drinking and sexual exploits, did you not? Senator, let me, uh, let me take a step back and explain uh, high school. Uh, I was number one in the class. I, and I thought let, only no, the no, 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 no. I thought only the Senate. You got this up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about my high school. No, no. no. I'm gonna let talk, him answer. I'm going to talk about my high school record if you're going to sit here and mock me. We, we, we were, I think we were all very fair to Dr. Ford. Shouldn't we be just as fair to Judge Kevin? Say. I busted my butt in academics. I won't always try to do the best I could. So I recall I finished one in the class, first in, uh, you know, freshman and junior year, right up at the top with Steve Clark and Eddie Ayala. We were always kind of in the mix. I, I played sports. I was captain of the varsity basketball team. I was wide receiver and defensive back on the football team. I ran track in the spring of 82 to try to get faster. I did my um, service projects at the school, which involved going to the soup kitchen downtown. Let me finish. And going to tutor intellectually disabled kids at the Rockville Library. 
went to church. And yes, we got together with our friends. Does this reflect what you are? Does this yearbook reflect your I, focus on academics and your respect for women? That's easy, yes or no. You don't have to filibuster the answer. Does it reflect your focus on I already academics? said the yearbook in my opening statement. The yearbook the judge, was obviously- Just wait a minute. Uh, he's asked the question. I'll give you time to answer it. The, the yearbook, as I said in my opening statement, was something where the students and, and editors uh, made a decision to treat it, some of it as farce and some of it as exaggeration, some of it celebrating things that don't reflect the things that were really the central part of our school. Yes, we went to parties, though. Yes, of course, we went to parties, and the yearbook page uh, describes that and kind of makes fun of it. And as a, you know, if we want to sit here and talk about whether a Supreme Court nomination should be based on a high school yearbook page, I think that's uh, taken us to a new level of absurdity. So, Ms. Mitchell. Well, we got a filibuster, but not a single answer. Ms. Mitchell. Judge, do you still have